Okay, let me quickly explain all the grammar I wrote yesterday. Uh, I just gave you that note. The post you read yesterday, I just gave you the note so that you can have them written down. Whenever you need them for something, you can easily contact it and get the right information you want to get. But surely, we're going to be explaining more when we, when we start coding. Okay, so the first thing is, uh, I was trying to explain what CSS syntax is. Okay, let me see if I can get the image. So what CSS syntax is? Uh, CSS syntax, it contains the CSS selector. We have the attribute name, attribute value. Okay, this is it here. Okay, everyone, let's see this now. This is CSS syntax. This one that is written outside here, the div. So it's what we call CSS selector. Why this first one is called uh, declaration? This first one is called declaration. So this is the property and this is the property value. This is the property name. Color is the property name. And the value of that property is value. So here is another property. Uh, text align and the value is justified so all this together both the property and its value is what we call declaration so we are trying to declare something for our HTML file okay um, there are some things you need to take note of you can have as many as possible uh, as possible declarations for a particular selector so this is div now as a selector so we have this one color blue so it's, um, it's a declaration on its own so be before you can declare another thing you need to add a uh, semicolon so between property name and value you 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 separate them with a colon but with th between two declarations, you separate them with semicolon. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Okay, so let's go to our CSS now. So there is one thing you need to learn also in CSS. I, it seems I skipped it. I forgot to, to mention it during HTML. So I'm going to be doing that here now. There's something we call comments. We have it both in CSS and HTML. So comments will not have effects in your web view, but it is just to how do I put it? It is just to note some things down so that you don't get confused when you are reading your code. Let me give you an instance now. Let's say you know this is for H1. So you now want it to be clear that okay, this is how I want my h1 to be h1 to be so you can add you can add a comment before you actually write the code or you can write the comment inside the code you can write it after the code wherever you like you can put comments and don't be scared that comment will not have effect on your results so for html the comment is usually this forward slash then asterisk then whatever you want to write in between Let's say you want to say, okay, this is H1. I'm coming, so you want to say this is. I'm coming, let me write it again. This, then this. So, this is a comment now. So, in between it is where you're going to put whatever you want to write. Okay. This style. is for h1 this style is for h1 so that's a comment it won't have any effect on your on your web view at all so you are just using it to indicate something okay so as i've said we also have it in html so let me look for one html file so inside this html file now you can say okay this is our first 
this one you use this angle bracket so use the angle bracket and so on so angle bracket exclamation mark then so whatever you any comment at all you can add it here angle bracket exclamation dash dash then you write whatever you want to write this so it's simple angle bracket okay it's even here so this is it here so and you can put whatever you want to put inside it so we call it comment anything you write inside this one is not going to show on your web view it is just there for you to know some for you to remember something or to just add any comment on it you may say okay i want to start this let me remove this so you may say i want to start this maybe for you to remember you may say okay i want to start this why you tell me why you're coming i want to start this with red I want to start this with red so it does a comment it's not going to show on your web browser so that is that we're still going to learn further all right